We found out that George Floyd wasn't that good of a person, but we had a big movement that was pushed and, and branded on George Floyd being this good person, right? So much so that, I mean, my God, if you, if you spoke out against it, it, I mean, Jesus, white people were like, you know, you could, as a white person, you could not speak against George Floyd. You were going to go down, especially on Twitter. Don't let the woke mob get you. You were going to go down. Now, I understand, y'all, that there are racist white people. I get it 100%, right? I get it 100%. But a big problem that we're facing right now is that there's going to be a lot more severely racist white people coming up here in a little bit with the way that the Democratic Party continues to move in America. And that's an absolute fact. Just like Tyler and Naz who go through these YouTube streets fucking up people's lives in real life. Just like Cynthia G who goes through these YouTube streets giving people effed up advice in real life only for the people eventually to realize like, oh, you know what? These people, man, I don't know, these people really didn't have our best, our best intentions at heart. Well, you know, you just hope that by that time it's not too late and you haven't taken enough of your own personal actions into somebody else's mouths and words or lifestyles right you just hope that you haven't messed yourself over too much for somebody that really ultimately cares nothing about you but that's exactly what's going on in the far left side you cannot be for criminal reform and then be upset when criminals are being released from prison you cannot be for less police but more police because they happen to pick donald trump in this case <laughs>